Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for API 510 Pressure Vessel Inspection Code. In service inspection, rating, repair, and alteration. In this lecture, we will discuss Clause 7 Inspection Data Evaluation, Analysis, and Recording. This section provides an overview of the general structure of the text in Clause 7, as well as reviews of some of the important subclauses that are in the clause. The following is a list of all the subclauses as listed in the table of contents. In the following slides we highlight important information contained in Clause 7 accompanied by the subclauses. Corrosion rate determination Existing pressure vessels Corrosion rate for thinning damage mechanisms is determined by the difference between two thickness readings, metal loss, divided by the time interval between the readings. Short-term corrosion rates are typically determined by the two most recent thickness readings, whereas long-term rates use the most recent reading and one taken earlier in the life of the equipment. These different rates help identify recent corrosion mechanisms from those acting over the long term. Suitable use of short-term versus long-term corrosion rates shall be determined by the inspector. When evaluating corrosion rates as part of the data assessment, the inspector, in consultation with a corrosion specialist, shall select the corrosion rate that best reflects the current conditions. Corrosion rate calculations by point-to-point -point method as illustrated in the figure. The long-term corrosion rate equals T initial minus T actual divided by time between T initial and T actual. The short-term corrosion rate equals T previous minus T actual divided by time between T previous and T actual where T initial is the initial thickness at the same CML as T actual T actual is the actual thickness of a CML measured during the most recent inspection T previous is the previous thickness measured during the prior inspection. The key to corrosion rate calculations. We have to convert the month into a fraction of a year. For example, suppose a reading was taken in May 2003. May is the fifth month. Since there are 12 months in a year, May is 5 twelfths of a year. And 5 twelfths equals 0 0.42. Therefore, May 2003 can be represent as 2003.42. Corrosion rate problems in mills. A mill is equal to a thousandth of an inch, one mill equals 0.001. Say, mills per year versus thousandth of an inch per year. How do I determine the next inspection date? Next inspection date equals last inspection date plus interval. Example 1 
Here is the thickness data for a specific CML. Calculate the corrosion rate. Solution example 1. The given information is per table below. Task. The corrosion rate. Solution. As per API 510, the corrosion rate equals metal loss divided by time C R equals T previous minus T last divided by time. Plug the given into the formula. So, the answer is A 10 mils per year. Example 2. Here is the thickness data for a specific CML. Calculate the corrosion rate. Solution example 2. The given information is per table below. Task. The corrosion rate. Solution. Step 1. Convert the months to years. March is third month, so 3 over 12 of a year, which equals 0 0.25 year, so March 2015 equals 2015.25. October is 10th month, so 10 over 12 of a year, which equals 0 0.83 year, so. October 2012 equals 2012.83. Step 2 Calculate corrosion rate. CR equals metal loss divided by time equals T previous, T last divided by time. Plug the given into the formula so, the answer is A 0.0054 inch per year. Example 3. Here is the thickness data for a specific CML. Calculate the corrosion rate. Solution Example 3. The given information is per table below. Task. The corrosion rate. Solution. Step 1. Calculate the long-term corrosion rate. Step 2. Calculate the short-term corrosion rate. Step 3. Pick the pick the highest corrosion rate. So, the answer is D 0.004 inch per year. Newly installed pressure vessels or changes in service for a new vessel or for a vessel for which service conditions are being changed. One of the following methods shall be used to determine the vessel's probable corrosion rate and also remaining life and inspection interval. A corrosion rate may be calculated from data collected by the owner user on vessels operating in the same or similar service. A corrosion rate may be estimated by a corrosion specialist. A corrosion rate may be estimated from published data on vessels in same or similar service. If the probable corrosion rate cannot be determined by any of the above items. An on-stream determination shall be made after approximately three to six months of service by using suitable corrosion monitoring devices or actual thickness measurements of the vessel. If it is later determined that an inaccurate corrosion rate was assumed, 
the corrosion rate in the remaining life calculations shall be changed to the actual corrosion. Remaining life calculations as illustrated in the figure. Remaining corrosion allowance equals T actual minus T required. The remaining life of the vessel in years equals remaining corrosion allowance divided by corrosion rate. So, the remaining life of the vessel in years equals T actual minus T required divided by corrosion rate. Where T actual is the actual thickness of a CML measured during the most recent inspection. T required is the required thickness at the same CML or component as the tactual measurement. It is computed by the design formulas, for example pressure and structural, and does not include corrosion allowance or manufacturer's tolerances. Inspection interval. Interval rules. Please note that when establishing the interval for most inspection types, the remaining life must be calculated first. Without knowing the remaining life, the interval cannot be set. Summary of interval inspection as illustrated table. For continuous service, External inspection interval is lesser of five years or the internal on stream inspection interval. For continuous service, internal, on stream, and thickness measurement inspections interval are normally lesser of 10 years or one half life or two years if life is from two to four years or full remaining life if life is. For non-continuous service, external inspection interval is the same as for vessels in continuous service. For non-continuous service, internal, on stream, and thickness measurement inspections interval is based on the number of years of actual service vessel in operation instead of calendar years. Example 1 Using the following data. Calculate the remaining life of an air receiver. Solution Example 1 the given information. Installed, 1971. New thickness equals 0.825 inches. T minimum, 0.500 inches. Ultrasonic testing reading, 1979 equals 0.825 inches. Ultrasonic testing reading, 1994 equals 0 0.725 inches. Ultrasonic testing reading, 2004 equals 0 0.625 inches. Task. Remaining life. Solution. Step 1. Calculate the long-term corrosion rate. Step 2. Calculate the short-term corrosion rate. Step 3 Pick the highest corrosion rate. So, CR equals 0.01 inches per year. Step 4 Calculate remaining life. So, 
The answer is C, 12.5 years. Example 2 A vessel has been in service for 5 years. And current thickness measurements reveal the shell thickness to be inches and inspection records indicate the required thickness is 0.54 inches. What is the interval for the next internal inspection of a vessel? Do if the corrosion rate is 0.018 inches per year. Solution Example 2 The given information Current thickness measurements equals 0.82 inches Required thickness equals 0.545 inches Corrosion rate equals 0.018 inches per year Task Interval for the next internal inspection of a vessel Solution Step 1 Calculate remaining life Step 2 Calculate one half remaining life Step 3 Calculate internal inspection interval So, the answer is A, 7.6 years A statistical analysis may be used in the corrosion rate and remaining life calculations for the pressure vessel sections. This statistical approach may be applied for assessment of substituting an internal inspection or for determining the internal inspection interval. Statistical analysis may not be applicable to vessels with random but significant localized corrosion. Maximum allowable working pressure determination The MAWP for the continued use of a pressure vessel shall be based on computations that are determined using the latest applicable edition of the ASME code or the construction code to which the vessel was built. The resulting MAWP from these computations shall not be greater than the original maximum allowable working pressure unless applying re-rating in accordance API 510. In corrosive service, the wall thickness used in these computations shall be the actual thickness as determined by inspection minus twice the estimated corrosion loss before the date of the next inspection as defined by T equals T actual minus 2, multiply C rate and I internal. Where C rate is the governing corrosion rate in inches per year. I internal is the interval of the next internal, or on stream inspection in years. T actual is the actual thickness of a CML, in inches, measured during the most recent inspection. Example What would be the thickness required for calculating the maximum allowable working pressure for continued service of a pressure vessel? that had an original wall thickness of 0.250 inches, original required minimum thickness of 0.200 inches, an actual thickness of 0.230 inches, a corrosion rate of 0.004 in per year, and the next inspection interval is 10 years. Solution example the given information 
original wall thickness equals 0 0.250 inches original required minimum thickness equals 0 0.200 inches actual thickness equals 0 0.230 inches corrosion rate equals 0 0.004 inches per year next inspection interval equals 10 years task thickness required for calculating the mawp solution as per api 510 the thickness required for calculating the mawp for continued service of a pressure vessel t equals t actual minus 2 multiply c rate and i internal plug the given into the formula so the answer is a 0 0.150 n if the actual thickness determined by inspection of the component is greater or lesser than the thickness reported in the material test report or the manufacturer's data report especially if the component was made by a forming process multiple thickness measurements shall be taken the thickness measurement procedure shall be approved by the inspector allowance shall be made for other loads in accordance with the applicable provisions of the ASME code review questions Question number one. What is the purpose of calculating both the short term and long term corrosion rates for a pressure vessel? Answer is C. Question number two. Who shall select the corrosion rate that best reflects the current conditions? Answer is D. Question number three. Long-term and short-term corrosion rates should be compared. Data assessment. When a significant difference exists between the two rates, who selects which rate is to be used and why? Answer is A. Question number four. What is the purpose of comparing the long-term and short-term corrosion rates of a pressure vessel? Answer is B. Question number 5. A pressure vessel has been in service for 12 years and has a history of corrosion over its service life. The original thickness was 1.9375 inches. The current thickness is 1.405 inches. What is the corrosion rate for this vessel? Answer is C. Question number six. Vessel has been in service for five years and current thickness measurements reveal the shell thickness to be 0 0.82. And inspection records indicate the original thickness was 0 0.875. What is the corrosion rate based on the shell thickness provided?
Answer is A. Question number seven. What is the corrosion rate? For a vessel whose inspection records contain the following information for a TML. Answer is C. Question number 8. If the corrosion rate cannot be determined by calculation or experience on stream determination of a new installation pressure vessel, shall be made after what period of time? Answer is D. Question number 9. When placing a new vessel in service, what would be a purpose of reviewing previous inspection reports of a vessel in similar service? Answer is A. Question number 10. When the probable corrosion rate cannot be determined, how is the corrosion rate determined for a vessel when the service conditions are changed? Answer is D. Question number 11. Which of the following method for determining the corrosion rate for a vessel? Answer is C. Question number 12. New vessel is brought in to replace an old vessel being retired from a hydrocarbon service after 25 years. The service will change to a new service, extremely sour crude with no similar service published data anywhere, and never handled before by owner user. The new vessel's probable corrosion rate and resulting remaining life and inspection intervals are best determined by Answer is C. Question number 13. After an inspection interval is completed and if calculations indicate that an inaccurate rate of corrosion has been assumed initially, how do you determine the corrosion rate for the next inspection period? Answer is C. Question number 14. The minimum required thickness of a vessel is calculated to be 0 0.55. Current inspections determine it to be 0 0.82 thick and it has a corrosion rate of 0.015 per year. What is the remaining life of the vessel? Answer is A. Question number 15. 
Question number 15. Based on the following, what is the remaining life of this pressure vessel? Answer is C. Question number 16. Using the following data, calculate the remaining life of an air receiver. Answer is C. Question number 17. Vessel has been in service for five years and current thickness measurements reveal the shell thickness to be 0.82 inches. And inspection records indicate the required thickness is 0.545 inches. What is the interval for the next internal inspection of a vessel due if the corrosion rate is 0.018 inches per year? Answer is A. Question number 18. What is the interval for the next internal inspection of a vessel with a measured head thickness of 0.875 inches? A required thickness of 0.563 inches. And a corrosion rate of 0.019 inches per year. Answer is B. Question number 19. Which of the following statements is true? Answer is A. Question number 20. Statistical analysis may not be applicable to vessels with random but significant localized corrosion. What is the correct action when used statistical approach for assessment of substituting an internal inspection or for determining the internal inspection interval? Answer is B. Question number 21. When a vessel MAWP is recalculated, the wall thickness used for computing the maximum allowable working pressure for continued service shall be the Answer is B. Question number 22. What would be the thickness required for calculating the MAWP for continued service of a pressure vessel made from ASME saw 516 grade 70 with an original wall thickness of 0.500 inches? Original required minimum thickness of 0.400 inches, 
An actual thickness of 0.475 inches. A corrosion rate of 0.010 inches per year. And the next scheduled inspection interval of 5 years. Answer is B. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile.